At the end of last year, I was in a difficult situation. I was going all in in filmmaking when my A7 III stopped recording audio. There were so many options. I didn't want to lose momentum, so I had to decide quickly. Sony FX3. That's an overkill. A7 S, Expensive and outdated. A7 IV. Well, pros and cons. CBE1. A vlogging camera? Seriously? Actually, I went for the vlogging camera. Hey, look at me. I'm a vlogger now. Oh, yeah. Well, not really, but coming back to my purchase decision, do I regret it? Not at all. There are a couple of caveats that I will cover in a minute and I regret that I will share at the end of this video. But I think the Sony CV-E1 is the perfect camera to get started in filmmaking and I will give you three reasons. 1. It packs the same sensor as the professional FX3 and most advanced features for half the price. 2. It is really compact and lightweight. Don't forget this is a full-frame camera. And 3. This is a very intuitive camera. It is easy to use. Even I can handle it and I didn't need to read the manual for that. Warning, this is not a professional camera. Let's get that out of the way. It only has one card slot and it can overheat during long recording sessions. But if that's not a big deal for you, I think this camera offers everything that a beginner filmmaker or content creator needs. If one day I decide to upgrade to a pro camera, I think this one will still be a very useful second camera as a travel camera or to get different angles during interviews. But to be honest, after six months, I haven't even scratched the surface of what this camera is capable of. What are you doing? Stop following me. Okay, that's enough. There are other cool features that I have been experimenting with, like the product showcase mode. Because, you know, I like buying stuff and showing it to my people, like this brand that is sponsoring this video. Okay, nobody's sponsoring this video, but you get the point. I have also played with other advanced features like shooting S-Log with preview LUTs. Can you explain that a bit better? Okay, so S-Log is a flat image that gives you more possibilities when color grading, but it is very difficult to imagine the end result while you are recording. That's where the preview LUTs come to the rescue. They translate the flat image so you can see at the back of your camera something that resembles the end result that you are looking after. That means that if you want to get creative and give your images a film look, this camera is very capable of that. For the time being, I'm using S-Cinetone, which is a picture profile with a baked-in cinematic look. And I love it. It's so easy and convenient. There are so many reasons to love this camera. The Sony cv one was released about a year ago, so you might be able to find a good bargain. Many people receive cameras as gifts, and guess where most of them end up? Yeah, in second-hand websites. Which brings me to a question that I have been asking myself. Should I sell the A7 III? With the exception of this video where I needed footage of my main camera, the truth is that I haven't been using it at all. But a broken microphone? I mean, it shouldn't be a big deal for someone that doesn't need video, but it doesn't look great when trying to sell a camera. And here comes the regret that I mentioned before. The cv one can take pictures, yes, but it has no viewfinder, and it has many limitations when it comes to syncing with external flash. I'm using it for thumbnails and for shooting family portraits because it offers a better shooting experience than the Sony a7 III. But I wish it would be a more complete camera for photography. I guess I'm asking for the moon. By the way, I'm planning to start a newsletter to share what I learn about content creation, talk about the work of some creators that inspire me and some gear that I find interesting. The link is on the description. Subscribe and you will be the first one to know when I launch it. If you're still watching, chances are that you're interested in filmmaking gear. If that's the case, I have a video that I'm sure will help you with that. You can watch it here. Take care and see you on my next video.